Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Global TV claims to be fighting disinformation on carbon tax. They're really just spreading it. Robert Lyman was a former public servant for 27 years and a diplomat for 10 years. He worked on the GHG file all that time. He's written this comprehensive review of carbon policies in Canada. They are really a mishmash, a mess, and they are making Canada uncompetitive in every way. Lyman explains we have 600 greenhouse gas reduction or incentive regulations already, and the fuel tax works out to the equivalent of $192 per tonne carbon tax already. Global interviewed economists from the Ecofiscal Commission. We debunked their views time and time again. But here's eight ways carbon taxes make your life harder. One, it's devastating for poor and vulnerable people. Heat or eat poverty escalates. Carbon pricing has a disproportionate impact on those with low incomes. At $15 per tonne, the tax adds about $325 a year in energy costs. Taxing natural gas for home heating will affect the elderly even more. Two, it's harmful to Canadian competitiveness. Carbon prices harm competitiveness. Our largest trading partner, the US, has a zero carbon tax. Ours is $30 a ton. It's a dead weight loss on the economy. That is, the cost of the economy over and above the amount raised by the government. Production costs rise, real wages decline, and it imposes at least a $1.30 loss in economic welfare from $1 in tax revenue. The effect is worse in countries that already have large existing taxes like ours. Number four, it's ineffective in reducing demand. Carbon prices do little to reduce demand for gasoline and diesel fuel. And Canada is a vast country. To reach the higher emission reduction targets, we require the complete elimination of oil and gas use. Five, Burdened with existing fuel taxes, carbon prices ignore the effect of pre-existing taxes and regulations, like the ones I spoke about earlier. Carbon taxes will add 12 cents per litre by 2022, or about $200 a year to the annual gasoline bill. Six, instituted with no cost-benefit analysis. Ontario conducted no cost-benefit analysis of either of its recent climate policies or on carbon taxing. Alberta did no cost-benefit analysis. The federal government's paltry carbon tax report and gender-based analysis had no hard figures for valid analysis, just platitudes. Seven, carbon taxes do not replace other taxes. They pile on more. Across Canada, there's at least 272 different programs in place at the provincial level alone, with more added every year. Instead of allowing the market to determine the lowest cost of emissions reduction, the government wants to choose the winners and losers. Eight, it's a revenue grab for big government. Yeah, it's a revenue grab. The federal and several provincial governments claim the carbon tax will be revenue neutral and most monies would be rebated to those most in need. This claim ignores the cost of a new layer of bureaucracy to collect and count and disseminate funds. The UK carbon pricing has driven up heat or eat poverty. Carbon taxes are extremely costly and pointless virtue signaling. We've got lots of reports and video clips on the destructive implications of carbon taxes for Canada. A carbon dividend or rebate is just a way to tax you and bribe you with your own money for no climate or environmental benefit. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>